Hey everybody, Joey Madalina of Random Rock Records on CygnusRadio.com. And uh, right now we're going to talk about an album from 1970, The American Dream on Ampex Records. It's the kind of thing that gets some play on Random Rock Records on CygnusRadio.com. And um, something I flipped by about a million times and never really paid much attention to. I mean, I guess the guys on the back look cool enough, but uh, for some reason the front cover just never never grabbed me, and Ampex isn't particularly a label that's uh, outside of the Todd Rundgren stuff that ever really grabbed me. There's a band called Santa Fe that has a good album, but uh, I can't really think of too much else that really ever grabbed me, so I let this one slide for quite a while. And at some point, some, I don't know when, the last five or six years I picked it up, finally. And I gotta say, I was not let down with it. It's a pretty solid rock record. Uh, some, some great power pop on here. That uh, turn, of the, turn of the decade kind of style. You know, 69 into 70. And um, produced by Todd Rundgren. It was his uh, first first production I believe and there's some some signature top moves on here that you end up hearing on a lot of the other records that he produced as well as his own solo stuff there's uh there's a snare drum on here that the is, is, is a total Todd Rundgren sound you hear it used in a million of his songs I don't I'd almost wonder if it's the actual the actual drum um Bearsville was, you know, Todd ended up on Bearsville Records after Ampex. It was Albert Grossman who managed Bob Dylan and set up uh, Bearsville Studios in Woodstock, New York, and then um, the label to go along with it and stuff like um, oh, Bob, not Bobby Jamison, Bobby Charles, um, the Sparks, Todd Rundgren, Foghat, all came out on Bearsville Records. And uh, Nick, Nick Jameson is in The American Dream, who played with Foghat. So it all sort of starts to come together there. You got Todd, you know, meeting up with Nick Jameson here. Um, another, you know, they were they were from Philadelphia. Todd Rungren's from Philadelphia. And um, making all the connections. So it, at first it seemed a little odd to me. Why would Todd Rungren produce Foghat? But then once I picked this up and started looking at the credits. Made a lot more sense. But uh, some really cool stuff on here. It's, uh, like I say, some nice nice power pop, guitar pop moments. And uh, as well as some, some straight out just rock and roll. And that's, I got a song queued up and that's, that's what we're gonna play. But um, cool stuff. There's a cover of My Babe, the Righteous Brothers song. Not My Babe, the Little Walter song. But, um, and that, that's a rocket version of that. And, and again, it's, it's, it's really a solid album. I'm surprised it, it slipped under the radar. And this, if you're a collector, this could be had for peanuts. I mean, you could probably find one for eight, 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 ten bucks is my guess. Um, maybe cheaper if you're lucky, because it doesn't seem to sell for big bucks. But if you're, you're looking for something different for your collection, you like Todd Rundgren? You like Power Pop? Can't go wrong with the American Dream. So uh, here you go. Check out this song. It's called Cadillac. We'll play just a little bit. That's pretty rocking. Rocking out that bell on the ride cymbal. 
But uh, cool stuff there. So if you like that kind of sound, early 70s hard rock, some other, like I say, more power poppy moments on it, then uh, try to track one of these down. Dig it out. The American Dream. And uh, if you tune in to uh, CygnusRadio.com, to my show, Random Rock Records, it's the kind of thing you're going to hear. So, uh, you know, check it out. Uh, yeah, hope this was, uh, hope somebody goes and gets it. See ya.